Because all cultures have a certain kind of nostalgia, but the Portuguese South Dog is so specific. It's so specific that I think even if you go to Brazil and you heard the word saudade, you know, which is the same word, right? To me, and I'm not a native Portuguese speaker, but I, I lived in Brazil for a couple of years and I've had some contact with Portuguese culture. To me, saudade and saudade feel slightly different. They mean a slightly different word. <coughs> Obviously, probably every word means something slightly different to everyone. But the, I feel like the Portuguese saudade is a little bit more serious and a little bit darker, or can be darker, than the Brazilian saudade, which is, uh, it's, it's more like the, the empty feeling that you have after carnival, and you're remembering that good time, and, it's, and you know, everyone is kind of hung over now. That to me is the Brazilian saudade more, and the Portuguese saudade is some of this more dramatic, or even melodramatic feeling uh, sometimes, or kind of, a little bit can be a little more despair. So I don't know if that makes sense to any of the native um, Portuguese or if there's any Brazilians, but that, that's kind of my sense of it. And, and obviously, we don't have anything similar in, in U.S. culture. I mean, in, in American culture, there's um, nostalgia, but it's not, it's not that same kind of thing. And I think that uh, Americans um, are actually, although there's an element of nostalgia in, in the culture, and certainly politicians try to use it as much as they can um, to get votes, it's not um, a culture that, that wants to be seen uh, having that kind of emotional saudade. Uh, it, it's a culture that wants to, I think, particularly like the Northeast Yankee culture of the United States wants to feel like they're beyond that kind of emotions and we're just going to move ahead and, and, and do whatever we need to do and not dwell on those kind of emotions. That's kind of my reading of it, so um, I think it depends culture to culture.